Warning, the following video may contain spoilers. Welcome back to another Game Detective, where I take up little bits of games or little chunks of games and talk about them more in depth than I would in discussions. This week, it is Just Cause 3. Why Just Cause? So, when do you call a sandbox game a sandbox game? Because what is really the meaning of sandbox when it comes to games? Well, the basic understanding of sandbox, at least to my knowledge, would be um, yeah, you can do whatever you want, okay, whether you that's win. silliness because someone's smoking, or, you know, just walking around town. And, yeah, I can see that, but also, sandbox seems like something that should be, okay, you can be very basic with your role play of the game, i.e., if you want to just walk around like a normal human being with, apparently, a bunch of weapons on you, uh, yeah, you can do that. Or you can go drive whenever you want and drive like a normal human being. You can do things like a normal human being. Something I love, 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 love other sandbox games for. It's one of the reasons I enjoyed... slash d... enjoyed... Minecraft, in a way. I enjoy Grand Theft Auto. I enjoy a lot of sandbox games because you can just walk around and role-play as a normal human being going about their every day. But at the same time, can you really take yourself seriously when you you have a bunch of weapons Hello. on you? Have you, seen her today? you have Spider-Man's jizz apparently on your wrist. Yeah, that, that's a weird sentence to say, but... Yeah, just... You walk around like a normal human being while you have a bunch of weapons strapped to you. And yes, of course I could make the joke that, oh, this is how everyone in America walks around. And this is why I like walking around doing absolutely nothing to the game, but, you know, seeing the game do little weird things like this. Do little things where someone's staring at a wall while over here, there's a black nun just walking along the side of the Thing. Okay, bye. Weirdo. A nun likes me even though I kill people and blow up, blow up people. Uh, 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 okay. But yeah. Sandbox. I.e. you can walk around on a beach and feel normal. Just one of these things just don't belong here. Yeah, Rico doesn't really fit in a lot of places to just role play and pretend that he's just one of the guys in the party or he's just some guy walking along the side of a road that people don't really walk along. Believe me. So, yeah. It just, it doesn't feel like, oh, he should be doing this, because 
as far as a roleplay aspect, it's, it doesn't make sense as well as to the game. It doesn't make sense. As long as it makes sense to one of them, I feel like, okay, I could stick with that, but... But Rico feels like he should be up in the air flying about. But then you hear when you're flying about that, hey, why is he up there? How did he get up there? Wah. And it still feels like, okay, yeah, I can see those questions being raised, but at the same time, I'm a man with a wingsuit stuck up my ass. I'm a man with Spider-Man's jizz on my wrist. It, it, it doesn't make sense to have people going, Oh, you're so great. You're so wonderful. Why are you up there? How did you get up there? And then when I walk among them, they treat me like a, I'm a god. That explains the nun. But the point is... Sandbox. Is it really all the sandbox things? Is it really the game that you can role play and travel about in? Just role playing as if you're a normal person? Not really. And yeah, the same could be said for little bits of Grand Theft Auto, but really, I tend to not spend a lot of time playing Trevor and role-playing unless I want to, you know, kill a bunch of people. Hey, what are you doing so, up there? yeah. See, that doesn't seem like a normal person kind of thing. It seems like, why would, why would a normal person do such a thing as jump on top of a bus and then throw the driver out? Why would someone do that? And then, fuck your scooter. Oh. Yeah, that didn't go too well. All right, I'm getting out of the bus. Did I just jump out the window? Yep. Rico, how did you fit in there? But yeah, sandbox. Is this really something you can say is the best sandbox game of all time? While technically it, it can't can't really do all the sandbox things. You still steal cars, just like Grand, hey, 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 car. uh, Grand Theft Auto. I thought I was about to say something different. But because people say that you're a hero, you're the best thing on the planet, you're the god among gods, you kind of feel a bit bad for stealing their car. And the amount of deforestation I've done in this game uh, scares me, quite frankly. It just it doesn't feel like, oh, you should be doing that, because it, 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 I'm a hero. I'm Superman, quite literally. And I'm not just saying that as, oh, I'm a superhero. I mean that as in... Superman is a hero that is a little bit too much on the, hey, this guy's a hero. This guy doesn't do anything wrong, while Batman will still do that. And yeah, it feels like I should be Superman instead of Batman. But I want to be Batman. After all. Hold on. Jump off. Grab that. I'm Batman. Sorry, let me get that right. 
I'm Batman. So, yeah, I just... It, it doesn't feel like I should be doing everything I'm doing. I feel like maybe, and this is just an idea, but maybe I'm not really supposed to be doing some of the stuff that I do. For example, stealing someone's shitty little 90s Ford. Fuck your bike. Yeah, I'm Batman. There's no two ways about it. And... To the role-play part of the game, it, it just feels like maybe I should be Superman. And before someone says, Oh, but you have certain bits in Grand Theft Auto that takes you out of that role-play aspect if you just walk around. Well, yeah, but you still feel like just another human being in the world instead of someone who's held up to the fucking moon. Hold on. Sorry. Hi. What are you taking pictures of? Yeah, sometimes I do feel like Superman for some of my deeds of catching supervillains who also happen to be photographers. And again, that may have just been Spider-Man or Spider-Woman. Shit. Oh well. That photo's not going in the paper. I guess J. Jonah Jameson is not getting his front page. Anyway. The, it just feels like I should be held up to the moon, and I am held up to the moon in the game. And that pulls me out of the whole, hey, let's be roleplay and let's play as just another, another human being going about our day and then some twat pipes up oh my god he's a superhero dude I'm just trying to live a normal life do I have to put on a blonde wig just to get through the day do I have to do certain things that I don't know I just I just feel like I want a little bit of peace and quiet from people and I can't get that oh so that car's not going to explode yep not gonna explode I feel like that was a bad plan of bailing out. But yeah, can't I just be a normal human being strapping explosives to a cow's ass and then, you know, how do I, how, well, um, nope. That's how I do it. Hmm. <sighs> Beef. I can't really go about my normal day in this game without some twat coming up to me and saying, Hey, can I get a picture? Can I do this? Can I do that? I mean... Let's go over here. See? Even he knows who I am in the middle of but fuck nowhere! Viva la revolution! Rico, Piss off! Savior, thank you for everything you do. She knows who I am. She, she knows whom I am. 
I can't get away from people. I have to always be the superhero. And that takes away from my sandbox role-play kind of thing that I like a lot of games for. Hold on. No! No! Oh, piss. And... No! 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 Thing. Okay. No! 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 Smackdown! Well, the first Smackdown that you took charge of that was live and after the draft was shit. don't know why that truck was there. But yeah, I can't just go about my normal day driving about the place, shooting goats, making wrestling references, wondering why an old couple is in a field in the middle of the day. They're probably dogging. I just feel like I should be Ignored once in a while, not our savior. Can someone just fucking hate me? I want someone to just hate me beyond this twat up here. You gonna talk, mate? No. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I'm not exactly a superhero. Reports of violence yeah. in the area. All units converge. Get on, get on the bike, Rico. Thank you. So yeah, I think that'll be it for today. I, I can't get past the whole, hey, you're a superhero thing to enjoy the sandbox aspect of this game because I prefer to role-play things and, you know, not go dogging in the middle of a field, but is at large. instead visual contact immediately. kill goats in the middle of a field. Yep, that one's dead. So yeah, tell me what you think of the role-play in this Scrolling game. Off search. Return to your posts. Okay, good doing handbrake turns, of which you lose control and you don't know what you're doing, and then you... <sighs> then you have to get out and make sure that the game isn't doing a whole Grand Theft Auto San Andreas thing, where apparently the game thinks, um, yes, the world is made of Rice Krispies. Ugh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, bad. Bit overkill, but okay.